Hello and welcome to this uh, Photoshop tutorial. Uh, this is going to be a really quick uh, tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make this cartoon effect in Photoshop and we're going to start from this image. Now uh, this effect is really popular uh, now on especially on mobile uh, apps and in fact I'm going to make some videos uh, really soon about mo mobile apps that uh, create this sorts of uh, effects and all, all kinds of uh, photo effects. But today I'm going to show you how to make this in Photoshop. I'm going to use Photoshop CS6 for this because uh, the oil painter is not, uh, filter is not working on my uh, CC on the Mac, so I'm going to make it on Photoshop CS6. So I hope you'll like it and let's get started. So let's group uh, my effect layer, layers and the first thing you want to do is open your image. Now it's not going to work the same on every image. I have this one here with lots of colors and I really like it so that's why I'm going to use this but you can try on other images as well. So the process is as follows. First you create a copy with Control Command J and go to filter, choose a um, stylize and choose diffuse. And here we're going to use the anisotropic uh, filter and click OK, uh, the anisotropic mode, sorry. And now we're going to apply this filter again. Go to filter and choose or press Ctrl Command F to reapply the filter. And this is just going to soften the image a bit and remove some of the noise. And the next uh, thing we're going to do is go to filter and use the oil paint filter. You can do this just as well in Photoshop CS, uh, CC, but um, as I said on my Photoshop CC, the oil paint filter, the filter is not working, I don't know why. And here, this, uh, make sure you set the shine to zero, unless you want to have this sort of 3D effects. And you just play with the stylization and with the cleanliness. And here, basically, you just do whatever you want, depending on what kind of effect you want to get. If you have a really, uh, really busy image, like the one that I have, you might want to reduce the stylization a bit, otherwise you will get really uh, washed lines like this, and you not even be able to tell what's in there. So I'm going to probably leave it there and click OK. Now I'm going to press Ctrl Command L just to open the levels and recover my highlights there and click OK. And next I'm going to go to Fill Image, uh, sorry, Adjustments and choose Shadows and Highlights. And I use this, uh, let me see if I can zoom out now. Uh, nope. Um, Basically, I want to add more light in here, so let me do that again. Shadows and highlights, and you can see how it looks like with this settings that I have here. You can copy the same settings if you want and click OK. The last effect is going to be achieved using the filter gallery. So go to filter, filter gallery, and here you can see the last two filters that are used. And the first one is paint albs. You can see I have a brush size of one. I use the brush type simple, one and one, and then poster edges. And you can see uh, this will gonna create the, that dark. We're gonna well make the outlines a little darker. You can try others. I think there's um, other filters that you can use to darken the edges, uh, dark strokes maybe. I don't know if it's working, but uh, let's see. Yeah, this is not going to give us the result that we want. So poster edges is better. So I'm gonna click OK. And you can see how the image looks like. Now, this is the final effect. Again, we we'll start from this. Let me zoom in at 100%. And we ended up with this. So, a really quick effect to create this sort of cartoon um, magazine looking effect. I don't know how to call it. But anyways, uh, that's the effect. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you next time.